morning vlog. So it's another day. This is the day after all of the craziness just happened with the California fire, lilac fire to be specific. We have Katie here, Danny over there. Um, we ordered pizza last night after I finished um, filming and stuff. And then I uploaded that video. It just went up just now. And I also hit a million views total on my channel, which is like something I've been working towards. I'm 15 away from 16,000. Um, and I'm just really happy. Also, right now I'm having a lot of trouble breathing. So, it's gonna be kind of, huh? Yes, I would. I love that. Um, and I think it's partly because of my allergies and partly because of um, all the smoke last night. But, and the ash. But this is what I'm wearing today. I tried to wear like my less cute outfit for this, what we're dealing with. Because we have to go back. And we have to go back to the, um, is it what's gonna happen? Yeah, help you breathe. Wait, you hold it for me? Yeah, hold on. Do you breathe it in? Yeah, no, just spray it in because it should go far. No, you. I wiped it off, so you should be fine. Just spray it, and it's gonna drip out. Just hold it in your nose. <sighs> if your nose drips, just hold it. Like take a Kleenex and then I like, go like this, and you're fine. What up, my brain, guys? What's it supposed to do. Anyways, um. We've been having so much trouble breathing and everything, and I think it's partly because of the ash, but partly also because of just like going from Arizona to California and the difference. And then um, we're gonna go get food from downstairs. We're gonna be just driving for a little bit longer because we, we drove about 50 minutes away from their house. So we're driving for a little bit to like kinda get back into the area. Right now, as you guys can tell, it's pretty clear. Uh, there's not really any smoke, there's not clouds really, like we're right next to the beach so like those clouds over there a little bit, but it doesn't even look like anything's wrong so I'm kind of, I don't know how I feel because like it just doesn't seem like anything's wrong, like, it seems like a normal perfect day right now so when we get a little bit closer like I'll keep you guys in the loop and everything but like from here it doesn't look bad. Some people are saying that they could see the smoke from where they are from, like some of you guys were telling me that. Um, and then you guys are from like Carlsbad and like San Diego and places that aren't where the lilac fire is, you know? So like the fact that you guys could see that yesterday is crazy. But today you can't really see anything, so I don't know. Okay, tell that to Danny. Uh, Danny yeah, I put it on speaker now. Hello? Uh, we can't go to my house That's it? Yeah, because everything's closed. Okay. Okay, guys, so you can see the left is pretty smoky. Like, there's definitely a uh, fire, like, right over there. That's where the fire started. Huh? That's where the fire started. Oh, really? Yeah. That's oh. where the car crashed. Oh, wow. So that's where the fire started. And then I'm not really sure 100% where we're going, but you can tell it's very smoky right now. <clears throat> so, yeah. There's a lot of people that are like driving the other way, so I don't know how all this works, but yeah. This is where it started. Yeah, you can smell it. Now you can definitely smell it. It smells just like it's a bit of an old campfire. Like an old campfire, but there's also a part of it like old campfire and then a little bit of like water or the retardant or something I don't know what the exact smell is but like anytime I smell it it always smells the same and that's what it smells like <coughs> we got off the freeway there was like a long line I didn't really vlog it though but getting on off the freeway took a while and uh, a lot of you guys are messaging me so thank you guys so much for just like telling me that you guys like care and everything like it really makes my day um but I've been like looking at those because I'm not the one that's driving. Um, it does not let you go left, but we're gonna be going to Fallbrook High School to meet up with them. All right guys, so this is something I do wanna point out. I took a photo right over there on this part of the intersection of that area and the smoke was so much bigger and like everything yesterday. So you guys can see like this, I'm gonna try to compare and like put the picture there. This is what it looks like now. 
kind of interesting because like, I don't know, it just looks so different from yesterday, but it's still 0% contained and everything. We are currently driving on a spot that we're not supposed to really drive on, but we see other cars. I'm not really sure the whole These people plan. aren't evacuated, so they live here. Yeah. See? <laughs> we're not the only ones. Yeah, there's this another is like, car. So we're going on like a trail uh -huh. where it's not a main road and it's going to be a very, very bumpy road. That's okay. And But it connects <coughs> to our main house, or our main road. And so hopefully that's still available and everything. As you can see, this is exactly where we were driving earlier, like yesterday. And now, it's just all this hazy smoke. It's 0% contained still. It covers like f over 4,000 acres. But it's not black smoke anymore. Um, over there, do you see all the smoke, how hazy it is? Otherwise, it'd be a clear day. But this is just like the what I can show you guys. Um, they have planes and helicopters and lots more people trying to do stuff and like get, do an effort. Like look, this is the same view that I was showing you guys yesterday and today it's all just white. Alright guys, so two things. Number one, I have not vlogged but I did go for a walk. And then the second thing is I'm going to be going to Starbucks because the power is still out. Here's like a little bit of an update. So the power is still out, which means that like nothing really works including wi-fi so we're gonna be going to starbucks um this neighborhood is still under like mandatory evacuation but we still like went back in and stuff and like it doesn't look bad um we also saw like a few firefighters when we went out on a walk earlier today and they didn't tell us to like leave or anything they said it's like becoming better um and you can't see smoke anywhere really like you can't like the way that it looked yesterday at this time was completely different it's like blue here so all right guys so there is the smoke that's left <clears throat> see that it's right there katie say hi hello good morning so it's another day of fitness and i'm currently still in san diego county um <laughs> that's where all the fires are if you guys can't tell the smoke really did affect me because I'm like I can't, I have so much trouble breathing right now but it's okay because we're gonna be going to Torrey Pines which is gonna be like pretty far away from this and um, they still do have a mandatory evacuation thing on a lot of the places here but more people are coming back um, and they do that at their own risk and um, yeah it's like 20% contained right now, I think. Yeah. And uh, that's like really all we know. Is there anything else you know, Katie, that I just missed um, talking about? Instead of 65 structures, there's a 105. Oh, yeah. Structures. And then there's 15 damage. Yeah, so they finally are starting to release some numbers. And there's 105. <coughs> that we're being told. Yeah, we're being told that there's 105 structures that are damaged now. Um, and then there's 15 that are, or 105 that are destroyed, like completely gone. And then 15 right now that are damaged. But with time, they're probably going to come out with more numbers. Um, and those are probably the only ones that they can like see and like look at clearly. So prayers go out to everyone that has their homes destroyed. And um, the racetrack was involved in this. So like, I have no idea what that looks like. We're probably going to go to horses. Yeah. Hopefully, I think all the horses actually went to the Dunmore race tracks. So that's good, or most of the horses. Most of them. They said like 50 horses died. Yeah. Which is not, which is horrible, but not as bad as because they had like over a hundred like, yeah. 50 horses. Yeah. At this racetrack. But I feel bad because they're like thoroughbred, thoroughbreds and they're like the actual race horses. They're like quarter million horses. Yeah. So they're like worth a lot. They've been bred a specific way and they have like the amazing genes and they're like, yeah. oh, there's, yeah. But then they have like a ton of things that are like kind of, you guys can see like this is not destroyed or anything. This is just like farming property right over here. Oh, you know Jason is? Yeah. He lives right back there. Right now? Yeah, he lives right now. Wow, so fun fact guys, Jason <laughs> Mraz lives right over here. Um, he's like apparently one of Katie's neighbors. So that's pretty dope. Oh, it's bright. 
and I can barely hear also. All right, guys, so Katie and I made it to Tory Pines. Woo! Say hi to Tori. Yeah, say hi to Tori for me. But basically, this is what it looks like. It's so pretty here. There's Katie. And uh, there's the mountain that apparently we're going up. And then there's the ocean. And it's it's really pretty here. But with that being said, it's kind of cold right now, but not that cold. So I'm wearing this jacket, which doesn't have a hood on it now that I realize that. I'm wearing this jacket though. And then these leggings, these are from the Ellie box that I got. I told you guys, I wear everything I get. And especially if I get it and I actually like it, AKA why I have this. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna be going up. You know what, I can vlog if I want drink, to. Drink water. Katie's telling me I shouldn't be vlogging right now. But, you need to drink water. yeah, I'm gonna drink water. We just finished one part of it, which is over there. I can vlog and drink water at the same time. the bottom of Torrey Pines and now we made it to the water. Katie's right here. It's so beautiful you guys. Right now I don't know if it's low tide or high tide but it's not high high tide it's just like in between. This is what I ended up stripping down to. Um, yeah it is currently I can tell you what time it is. 10 49 and uh, we're having such a great time. It's so pretty here. I was kind of being a negative Nelly for a while and I feel bad for Katie you guys. But I feel so much better now. Like my head stopped hurting. I think it was because we were going uphill and like the pressure on my head from like my sinuses was just like really killing me. And then now like a little better. This is coming up though. Hi. <sighs> <laughs> All right guys, so we are done with the Torrey Pines hike and now Katie and I are heading to Swami's and we're going to where else? Better Buzz. Better Buzz Coffee. Panikin. And Panikin and it's just gonna be really fun. So this is kind of like what Ents needs. So this is Del Mar, right? Del Mar. We're in Del Mar right now and then yeah. we're gonna go into Ents. So we're in Del Mar right now. We're gonna be going into Encinitas, but this Encinitas. is what Encinitas. Encinitas? Yeah, there you go. And this is what it looks like. It's just so pretty. Do you guys see that? It's so stunning. There's my best friend. Go best friend. So we made it into Encinitas. Um, we're gonna go to Buzz Better Buzz Coffee, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to Better Buzz now. I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about it. I still sound kind of like crazy, but it's all good. So what do you get? I get a hazelnut the vinegar. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. You're good. That's why I had it up so I can get it of you. So I'm probably gonna. <laughs> The lady recommended this to me. She said that it's like lavender tea with vanilla on it and stuff. So we're gonna try this. This is good. All right, guys. So what's the plan now, Katie? We're going to the Panikin. We're going to the Panikin. And then we're gonna go to Swami's. Oh, this looks so good, though. Like it's fine. I'm so excited, you guys. When it's a hot mess, that's the best mess. Everything. That one looks good, though. Yeah. Let's see. Looks like sex in a container. Look, that looks so good. Yum. All right, guys, we're gonna try this. This is the banana that I've been like eyeing when I was here. Really. Ooh, it looks so good. Let's find a good bite. Banana <laughs> <laughs> pie. Literally 10 out of 10. I met Swami, Swami's, Swami's with uh, Katie. Katie got a ch grilled chicken Caesar wrap fries, then I got them with sweet potato, and I got the bison burger, the aioli on it. Oh, it's really good. It looks so good. Okay, so update, guys. I finished my food, sorta. Sinise is right there. She's at the bathroom. I've taken control now. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I don't, I'm not tech savvy. This is what she said. 
Okay, I'm done. Okay, guys, we have a new dilemma. So Katie is freaking out a little bit. I'm not freaking out. We gotta drive a long way. Now. We just have to drive a long way, and you know me. If I'm not driving, I don't care. And I usually go the long way anyway. Mmm. Yeah, baby, you like that? Like that? <laughs> We just finished eating at Swami's and I the food baby now. Um, we get another report about the fire when it's 7 p.m. So we have two hours to get another report. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching another episode of My Fitness. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, and uh, if you guys want to sign up for my mailing list, feel free to do that too. But with that being said, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.